Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about foam not as a barrier technology. I have to do another video on this because I can tell by the calls I'm getting, you know, 30, 40 a week sometimes, people are just not, still not understanding the difference. I don't know where this came from, that foam is a noise technology. It's got to be maybe marketing speak uh, or something like that to sell something that doesn't work. For that application, I don't know, but I can't believe how prevalent it is in, in our thinking and the discussions I have every day. So let's do a little uh, research here. Noise transmission is all about vibration, vibrational acoustics. Foam is about airflow, molecular velocity, air moving across the surface. Noise air moves across the surface but it doesn't go through it a completely different kind of science that we have to look at so what do we have in absorption we have airflow we have friction we have heat and then we have an energy transformation that's how we get absorption it's not what happens with noise transmission let's just look here at two different things look at foam and a brick wall here's some graphics to look at look at how different they are that should trigger in your mind when you got a noise issue that foam's not going to be the solution. If brick is the answer to some noise, frequency and amplitudes, not all, but some noise, frequency and amplitude, foam doesn't stand a chance, right? Doesn't stand a chance at all in this arena, okay? So with noise and absorption, it's the same physics, but it's a different branch of physics, okay? One deals with airborne, one deals with vibration. I use the example a lot of times of driving in the mountains. There's always a, a ramp off the road for trucks that their brakes overheat and they lose their brakes or they lose the uh, efficiency of their brakes and they can't slow this huge vehicle <clears throat> down an 8, 9, 10% grade. So they have exit ramps. Well, what, what is the ramp? The ramp is a 45 degree ramp and at the top there's things, water or sand. And what the truck does is it goes up this ramp. Well, what, that, what you're doing here is you're using gravity to drain the forward momentum of this huge mass of, energy, of truck and get it to stop. If it doesn't run out of speed, so to speak, or mo forward momentum at the top, it strikes the bags of sand or water and slows it down even further, hopefully, unless it's really going fast. So we're using gravity to slow it down. Well, same thing in barrier technology. We're not using gravity, but we're slowing. If this is our frequency of the signal and it strikes a wall, we want it to come out the other side smaller. So we're reducing the strength by running it through a series of layers. And hopefully we get a small, I call it a worm. So we have a snake to a worm. So you have a huge uh, energy here and then a smaller amount of energy there, snake to worm. You can't do that with foam, okay? So we have to look at the disciplines, the, the two areas that we have to focus on. Barrier materials to go from a snake to a worm are frequency and amplitude dependent. So every material we use in that barrier depends on the noise. That's why I'm always saying measure, measure, measure. People ask me all the time, will this work? Will that work? How about this? How about that? I have no idea because I don't know your noise. You tell me your noise and you show me measurements and I don't want one day of noise. I want noise over seven days. I need a complete picture each week so we can get an idea of minimums and maximum pressures because we got to design for maximums. The minimums will take care of themselves. The quiet days will be dealt with if we treat the loud days, okay? So the bottom line here is we have to look at the materials, frequency and amplitude dependent, and here's also, oh, I'm sorry, the construction methods are frequency and amplitude dependent. Once we determine our materials based on frequency and amplitude of our noise numbers, we have to determine how we're going to build it, okay? Do we put the if it's density is our variable, do we put the most dense out here towards the noise, or do we put the most dense here where the worm side is, the worm side, snake or worm? 
Well, it's all dependent on amplitude. See, so we have frequency and amplitude. How strong is it? Where is it at in the frequency range? A lot of variables to consider. Okay, it's not simple. Every time I hear somebody say, well, I got this little noise problem and it's simple to fix, I freak out because nothing is simple and nothing is easy. We have a lot of choices today, but that doesn't make things simpler or easier. Uh, I've been messing with my iPhone trying to do videos on an iPhone and nothing's easy. Trust me. All right. So measure, 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 measure twice, cut once. The old carpenter adage that we follow in our shops. Don't make mistakes then, but you got to measure noise. If you don't measure noise, you're guessing, and guessing with noise is a fool's game. You'll guess wrong every time. I guess wrong after 40 years. What chance do you have? None. All right? So measure, measure, measure. We have programs you can measure using your cell phone. It's very easy. We have online forms you can fill out. You can send it to us, and we will tell you the materials you need to do in the barrier, how to construct them, and we'll send you a drawing. It's all part of our design service. Measure twice, cut once, right? Once the noise issue's done, it's 100% fixed and 100% right. Here's the thing with noise. It's four to five times more expensive than treatment, so hopefully you don't have a noise problem if you're on a limited budget. We're doing a studio in Las Vegas right now. They bought a piece of land. Got a great price. It's right in the flight path of the airport. So the money they save buying the land, they have to spend on noise transmission reduction. Nothing's easy, okay? 100% fixed, 100% right. We guarantee all of our designs to perform as specified. We've never had a product return or a noise design where we've had to refund money. We've been doing this a long, long time. I've built a lot of buildings and lots of measurements, over 250 rooms. Stay with someone who has the experience about it. Stay away from all this nonsense about noise on, on the internet. That would be a good uh, subject for uh, a video, noise nonsense. But anyway, I hope this helps. I hope you're getting an idea of the differences here. You know, one is, is a treatment technology. One is noise uh, technology barrier. Completely, completely different. Same science, physics, but different branches. The key to understanding both of those branches of physics is where they overlap. And I think that's where, what confuses people. There's some similarities, and it's only like 10% of the science of the discipline. So that's where you really get the understanding. Foam is not a barrier technology. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.